Y. Thank you very much for keeping it Y in the morning. If you're just joining us, this is Y254 TV. My name is Rab Aguko, and you're just in time for the very next conversation of the day. And today it's all about understanding the 17 national values. It's all about the youth and the 17 national values. Now, there's 17. Remember, 17. All these national values are very important. We may not be able to cover all of them. So we want to just pick just but a few on this particular uh, conversation. Well, to help us understand this, I'm joined by Peter Mose. He is the deputy director from the Directorate of National Cohesion and Values from the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government. Karibu sana, Bona Peter. Thank you. Uh, hope you're well. I'm aware. And, and thanks for finding time to join me this morning. Thank you also. Yeah, as we, we have this conversation, ensure that you also engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko, that Y254 channel that is on Twitter. Head over to Facebook also or drop your comments on our page there. We shall sample your feedback as we continue with this conversation. Now, uh, as we begin, um, Bona Peter. We're talking about the national values and principles of governance um, that uh, exist and that youths should follow. Um, let's just uh, be able to just recapture on these things first, just in a nutshell. Uh, when you say national values, because we've had this conversation before, um, for those who may have joined us today and have no idea about what we are talking about in uh, national values, before we touch on the different ones, what exactly are we talking about when we say national values, especially for the youth? Yes. The youth are quite Yes. Yes. First, mm. let me say uh, national values are the fundamental foundations we have that guide us as a nation mm -hmm. and as a people uh, in our country, Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, national values also, they are known to influence our attitudes, our behavior. In other words, they define us. They mm -hmm. define our identity as Kenyans. Wow, wow. And uh, thirdly, I know national values they also define how state power is exercised mm -hmm. uh, in terms of government relations with the people and also how people relate with each other. And, and, and it is because of this that the government is really interested in promoting national values, especially among the youth. We are coming to a national ele electioneering period, yes. come 2022. Yes. And uh, when you talk about patriotism, for example, yes. Um, how can that youth ensure that they are patriotic? And what does it mean to be patriotic for your country? Yes. Thank you, Aguko. I know that maybe it is important to inform our youth that our national values are found in our constitution. Mm. They are found in Article 10 of the constitution that's uh, best for uh, any reference for any Kenyan can uh, get the constitution and refer. And there are 17 of them. And the first one is just the value that you have mentioned. Mm. That's the value of patriotism. Patriotism comes first as our national value because that is the value that it defines our commitment to our country as a people and of course the youth have a role to play uh, have a major role to play in terms of uh, promoting uh, patriotism within our country mm. and there are several ways uh, our youth and the general uh, citizenry can be able to promote patriotism, promote patriotism. Mm. Mm -hmm. that is especially under the youth, mm. they are the, known to be the most innovative mm -hmm. segment of our society, and therefore they can apply so, their so, so, skills mm. and innovation for the advancement of our country. And if if we talk about patriotism, I mean we've seen so many people in. You've heard of this uh, slogan, "Najivunia kwa Kenya." Yes, uh, but kuna hii ni meto kelezia squeezei, na vumilia kwa Kenya. <laughs> You, well, <laughs> does that promote patriotism? 
Mm, no, the latter does not. Uh. Uh, patriotism simply requires that what can you do for your country? It's not as much as mm. what is the government doing for you. Now, oh, oh, that should 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 I youth say that Lazwa ni kwe jeshi no ni kwe patriotic? Uh, not only in jeshi. Uh. There are several avenues through which the youths can promote patriotism. Remember, the youth are very talented. They can be able to participate through art, mm -hmm. through sports. For example, they con just concluded Olympic uh, 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 sporting activities in Tokyo, mm -hmm. in Japan. It is our youth who, who brought us that kind of glory. Uh, so to Kenya. Because of our youth. Uh -huh. uh, they can promote patriotism even through music, through uh -huh. art, and several avenues that the youths have got to play their role mm -hmm. in at least advancing uh, the policies of this country and also in ensuring that we have a country and we are building a country that we want. We, we, we've seen even in sports, you know, uh, Kenyan youths going to the fields, you know, with the flag. They, 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 they go, they put on those t-shirts, you know, with the Kenyan flag. Yes. Some of them paint themselves, yes. you know, uh, the bl black, red, green colors on, on, on their skin. You know, yes. I, I think even, even that's a sign that, you know, you're standing in for your, for your country. That's a sign of patriotism. Mm -hmm. All that we need to do as a nation, mm -hmm. as a country, is to encourage our youth to sustain that kind of spirit. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit that can live, uh, make us at least uh, make this country also great. Is, is it possible for, the, for, for these youths to also ensure that that one also spreads even during times of elections? Sure. Sure, the youths have a role to play. Uh, and during an electioneering period, uh, they are the majority, they can take the lead in ensuring that we have peaceful elections, mm. but at least avoiding to be misused by anyone, to be misled, to be influenced in any way that is negative, mm -hmm. and we can have a peaceful election, mm -hmm. of course, if we are able to convince our youths that it's part of their value system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they have to contribute positively in ensuring that elections year in, year out, whenever we are holding them in five years, we have uh, put mechanisms in place to ensure that we are going to hold that election without the kind of skirmishes that we see that are characterized by involving the youths. Be be because it is during that time that you know, youths are involved in, in violence, you know. Uh, if you go to the roads, those who are throwing stones, they're youths. Yes. When you work a tile, is the youth. And uh, how, how is it that we can be able to promote now national unity during this time? Because now that one is a threat to national unity. It is a threat to, to, to national unity in the sense that youths aren't able to, you know, uh, see eye to eye. They cannot be able to interact with each other. Because during elections, now my neighbor is no longer my neighbor. Now they are from another tribe. Now they are from another... How do you promote national unity during these times? Yes. For the youth? Yes. There are several ways we can inculcate uh, the value of national unity among our youth. Mm -hmm. Of course, by enabling them to interact across the uh, different diversities, across the tribal lines, by ensuring that we are giving them the right, uh, uh, the right guidance in life in ensuring that uh, youths embrace national unity because it creates a sense of belonging, it creates a sense of sharing. Mm. We look at challenges from a common perspective. Mm -hmm. We look at ourselves as Kenyans first before we look at ourselves as individuals coming from our respective communities. Mm -hmm. And by ensuring that we make them believe that togetherness in, across the different diversities, we are able to achieve our goals. We are able to achieve a common vision. We must build that sense of common sharing amongst our youth through, of course, encouraging them to engage in programs mm. that cut across. But now, uh, now 
when we talk about national unity, you know, there, there, there are two terms here that have quite caught my attention. Yes. Unity and national. Yes. There is unity that you can have as a family, yeah? Family unity. There is unity that you can have as a society, societal unity, you know. But here we talk about national unity. What exactly are we uh, trying to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, um, talk about here with these two particular terminologies, national unity? Because there is also international. Yes. Yes. Uh, national unity is basically a deliberate effort mm. that we put in ourselves that influences us to look at each other from the different perspectives as equal as mm. same people mm -hmm. sharing same challenges pursuing same goals mm -hmm. also pursuing a same future regardless that of tribe and, 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 and color yes regardless of all those classifications regardless of all those diversities mm. that normally we used to define ourselves mm. so it is upon us as leaders, as uh, people who influence opinion, to inculcate the same in our youths, to show mm. them, to give them guidance towards that vision whereby they will start looking at themselves across the tribal lines, across all the different classifications we have as one. It means it, the, the youths actually have the power within themselves to promote national unity. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. The youths have got that power because, like I said, uh, they are talented, yeah. You know, yeah. they are innovative. Mm -hmm. Youths, once they start engaging each other, they mm. forget about their tribal backgrounds mm -hmm. and the different classifications. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, it means it is much easier for us to work through the youths if we give them the right guidance. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, if you look at the, the guidance that you're talking about here, and I love how, how, how you're mentioning it. Youths have it all within, within themselves. Yes. The talent is there. You know, they, they, uh, and that's why everyone is talking about youth, youth, youth. Even during elections, they go for the youth because the talent is there. Yes. And uh, it means that we, we are looking at that, that kind of power that is at the bottom. Which reminds me of something called devolution. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 the power that is at the bottom where the youths are has the ability to, you know, change the whole country. Yes. And, and, and devolution of, uh, 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 of power, actually sharing of uh, uh, and devolution of power is one particular aspect that is important, especially for the youth. Yes. How, how deep can it go? How can youths also uh, engage in this particular aspect of devolution? Yes, of course, the value, the national value of sharing and evolution of power, it is important and it is there in our constitution and we have seen it, it's in application in terms of uh, governance structures that we have at the moment and therefore this calls for the youths to understand uh, that system and the structure of governance mm. so that they can be able to play a major role in terms of um, uh, participating actively in projects, programs, mm. and activities that are taking place at the county level, uh, because this is a system whereby we know resources have been shared, mm. resources mm. have been di distributed now to the grassroots level, yeah. and therefore the youths have the know uh, the knowledge with which they can be able to uh, also participate and make use of these resources, mm -hmm. enable the counties also to run the programs by, of course, involving the youths also in mm -hmm. such programs. That is where we find that if the youths were to be engaged at, let's say, at the county level, mm -hmm. then we could be seeing that the difference coming in in terms of progress, mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. investments coming to the uh, level of the counties. It is the youths who have uh, actually that potential to transform and change the way things are done at that level. It, it, it means that the power exists. Yes. It exists. It, it's upon the youths from the uh, grassroots to take advantage of it. Yes. To share it amongst themselves. Yes. And to 
promote yes. uh, the, the beliefs that they have that take the country to the next level. Yes. And if, if, if I look at that aspect of uh, uh, devolution uh, uh, of, of power, um, for someone who may not understand what uh, we are talking about here, um, how can uh, Mimi, as a, as a youth, common wananji, these are new terminology that I'm, I'm getting, devolution of power. Uh, what exactly are we talking about here? Because nowadays we are hearing so many terminologies, especially in the political realm, uh, that are be, being thrown uh, left, left, right, center. Yes. Uh, devolution, uh, sharing and devolution of power simply refers to the two levels of government. Mm. They are in terms of structure, Mm -hmm. That is uh, in a, a, a resource sharing, yeah. one, and then two, uh, the political power is shared also uh, amongst the two levels, that is at the national level mm -hmm. and also at the county the level county. through mm -hmm. that political structure. Okay. And that is what it simply means. Mm -hmm. and yes. it, it, it means the youth can be able to engage uh, themselves in, in, in this line. Within here, this path. line. Uh, for example, mm. youths uh, need not to be uh, standing by and just watching. They have a chance also to lead mm. through by participating in uh, active uh, elections. Mm. Uh, they can be elected to be MCAs. Mm -hmm. They can also apply for jobs at the account level mm -hmm. to be the chief executive officers at the county uh, public service board they can mm -hmm. apply for various jobs and also contribute actively mm -hmm. and positively for the development of uh, that uh, structure of governance especially at the county levels it's it, it's interesting because that's actually another perspective of uh, 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 national values the participation of the people yes um some youths have gone and said no in this coming election we are not going to vote some are saying, ah, to make chokers, is it to, to pigena nikura sasa. Some are, uh, while others, on the, uh, on the other hand, know who they are going to vote for, and they're going to actually vote for that particular individual. Well, if you look at on the flip side, there are those who know who they're going to vote for, but when they get, when, when they get to the uh, ballot, they get influenced in other ways. Participation of the people. How deep can it go for a youth? How can youths participate? Uh, yes. Uh, that is under the value of democracy and the mm. participation of the uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, that requires that youths uh, uh, need to exercise their uh, rights in terms of electioneering, in ensuring that the culture of democracy is cultivated in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they need to be involved mm -hmm. through participation of the people. It simply means... Mm -hmm. Uh, they have a role also, an active role to play, determine that kind of leader. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, they can also go for uh, active electioneering. They mm -hmm. can vie for those uh, very uh, positions. And um, we encourage that under participation of the people, uh, there is need for them to be active or actively involved mm. and in ensuring that we create a democratic culture mm. that we can be able to be proud of mm. instead of sitting back and saying, no, I'm not going to uh, participate, participate in elections mm -hmm. because you are passing on the blame is, 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 to is, is, someone is, is, next. But uh, in essence, you have the right, you have the power. You so, can be able to take so action. So it's, it's not good for a youth to say that, no, this time round I'm sitting it out. No. Mimi siendi kupiga kura, mine na kuka home, na mambogi wenzenyu. So <laughs> then, who is going to elect for you that very person that you want? That you want. It simply means the youths must be uh, actively involved. So if you don't participate, you will actually never get the results you want. No. No, that's for sure. So if, if uh, you look at the structure that uh, is coming up in uh, these particular um, coming elections, I'm seeing so many youths coming up, uh, vying for different, uh, different seats. 
is that also um, you know how, how how good can that be especially for the youth pale uh, machinani is that also a sign that uh, you know youths are coming up that the mindset is being changed pale uh, machinani that the perspective of leadership in the youth among the youth is actually changing sure that should be encouraged and that's why we say uh, a nation whose youth is founded on a strong foundation on national values, mm. they will be able to participate yeah. in every aspect, in every sector of our society. And that involvement is a positive a direction that they have taken. Mm. And that is encouraged. That will bring the kind of transformation that we talk about, that is brought about by inculcating and making national values a ways of life. There are people who normally say that um, they are activists and they want to come up when they see something wrong. And they youths, when they see something wrong, they go to the streets. Um, how can we as youths participate uh, and ensure that we, we promote democracy in the society as youths, yet at the same time not get in uh, bad terms with, uh, you know, uh, 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 with, with the law enforcers because we've seen so many people going on the streets, it goes and ends up in riots, what on Omiya, some even get killed. Yes. So what the youth need to understand is that uh, there is need to abide by the rule of law. Mm -hmm. The rule of law is one of the national values that is very important. It simply means that you are always guided by the law. You are doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You are looking at the law and ensuring that there is law and order, mm -hmm. there is peace. Yeah. Therefore, the youths uh, have got uh, a role to play also in this one mm -hmm. because they are the most active and yet they are the most uh, influenced, yeah. sometimes negatively. Mm -hmm. Therefore, once they are aware, they are conscious that there is the rule of law. They need to be law-abiding citizens. Mm -hmm. They need to lead by example. Then that will ensure that the youths will avoid this kind of uh, arrangements that we find, mm -hmm. which take them to the wrong direction. Is because of lack? Of, is it because of lack of following the rule of law that during riots people get harmed? Uh, how can youths participate in activities that they want to engage in? Follow the rule of law and at the same time achieve what they want to achieve? Yeah, the youth, since they understand, uh, they understand that they have the knowledge, they can be able to read, they can be able to participate in awareness creation forums, mm. they can be able to interpret the law or, uh, and of course uh, involve themselves in youth engagements, in youth groups, in mm. awareness creation, in civic education about uh, abiding by the law, uh, ensuring that they maintain law and order, mm -hmm. they participate in such activities like electioneering mm -hmm. uh, without necessarily causing damage. Mm. Yes. And um, when it comes to the rule of law, is it bad legally or uh, according to, to law, someone to say that I do not want to go and vote? Is it that I, I, should I feel like I'm breaking any law? If I don't vote? Uh, it's a personal choice mm -hmm. because that's personal liberties, but mm. also uh, those um, freedoms mm. are allowed that uh, if you cannot be able to participate in elections, uh -huh. then who is mm -hmm. going to do it for you? Who's going to do it for you? Then you will continue to blame the others, uh, push on, blame elsewhere, and mm -hmm. yet you, you have the power within yourself mm -hmm. yes yeah, I think so it is a good thing that mm -hmm. they participate is a civic those duty civic to rights. do that yes yeah those liberties are there it's a civic duty mm -hmm. so it is something that we have to encourage our youth to also undertake mm -hmm. yes um social media has been a very very big uh, has had a very big role to play when it comes to observing the rule of law. Many have ended up on the wrong terms, in terms of, uh, in, in, on the wrong side rather, in terms of uh, the law, some getting arrested, some getting, you know, uh, uh, 
put infringing on 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 other uh, other people's rights because of breaking the rule of law on social media how can youths promote or promote the rule of law on social media online regardless of of the this these times that uh, we are going for because now we are going for 2022 general elections many will go to facebook to twitter the posts will come <laughs> there will be many yeah. how can you promote the rule of law during this time yeah we have the law we have the law that governs uh media mm. and therefore it's important that the youths before they engage in those social media activities mm. they need to look at the law what the law says the mm -hmm. law is just one it says uh, you have to abide by the law and you have to refer every action is defined in law mm -hmm. and therefore it is important that social media is not operating out of nowhere mm -hmm. it is controlled also by a given legislation mm -hmm. so that piece of legislation which controls media must be adhered to by all the youths and any other person who is using media they shouldn't just make any posts talk about anyone insult anyone in whichever way no an infringement on the law is just uh, wrong mm -hmm. it cannot be justified in any way mm -hmm. yes and, and and that brings me to the perspective of human dignity because many even go to social media and they post about let's say a particular individual a particular leader and uh, you know uh, they would talk about it in ways that uh, some may feel to be inappropriate how do you promote human dignity among the youth yes the youth have a major role to play in terms of ensuring that uh, people's liberties, people's rights, especially human dignity is mm -hmm. upheld mm -hmm. by ensuring that they don't do something that infringes mm -hmm. on others' rights yeah. by also getting involved uh, themselves as an active segment of society by leading by example, participating in activities that promote the dignity of others and also ensuring that they uh, lead the way by participating in community activities, by ensuring that they have uh, proved themselves like they can be able to assist uh, mm -hmm. their communities. Also, uh, in terms of ensuring that uh, they help, uh, let's say, for example, the elderly. Mm. They, they, they can do activities that help the society, their mm -hmm. communities, their mm -hmm. neighborhoods mm -hmm. to be better places. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a way of at least upholding human dignity. And, 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 and we've seen so many youths not uh, caring about, about others. Uh, some are selfish, if, if, if for lack of a better term. <laughs> because they, they, they promote self, selflessness. Uh, and I mean, they, they're self. Uh, uh, how do I say selfish desires? Yes. <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yes. Um, is it is, is it possible for for a youth to look up for themselves, to look out for themselves, yet at the same time promote human dignity in a way that uh, they are able to look out for their neighbor? Yes, yes, they can. Of course, uh, it starts with self mm. and others also, but foremost, uh, it all is concerned about caring for others, ensuring that there is fairness, there is social justice, mm -hmm. there is uh, a, a way you look at the others mm -hmm. and you see them as having uh, their rights. And it is those rights that once you are able to recognize them, mm -hmm. then against your own personal beliefs and rights, mm -hmm. then you can be able to uphold human dignity you of your neighbor and yourself. So you should also believe that just as you are affiliated to a particular ideology, your neighbor also should be given the same respect yes. to affiliate themselves with another ideology that doesn't necessarily have to be in, align to, in, in alignment with what you have. No, you, you don't have to want that everyone acts uh, or agrees with you in the way you see things. Mm. That 
is what we are talking about human dignity is respecting others mm. respect their opinion respect their way of doing things as long as it doesn't infringe on you you seen in terms of sports also um, many people are now mocking what were Arsenal <laughs> the, the <Arsenal> players. <laughs> huh? I think it's, it, it's even in in, the, in in many offices. I don't know if you have Arsenal well, fans well, in the building. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so subscribe to that. But uh, uh, I respect their their views and mm. their opinion. Yes, uh, and, and that is respecting human dignity. Yeah? Yes, yes. Youths end up getting into fights just because they don't agree in particular ideologies. How, how, how is it that youth can be able to, what, from what perspective should they look at it? Uh, well, they shouldn't be at loggerheads, if at all the youths were to understand it themselves. The youths were to understand the avenues they have got, they have to understand the rights of others, they have to understand what needs to be done mm. and how uh, someone's action can be able to uh, influence negatively mm -hmm. or infringe on someone's rights. Therefore, it's a question of themselves understanding themselves, understanding mm -hmm. their rights, and mm -hmm. understanding the ways to respect others mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. be able to interact in a manner that does not cause any kind of conflict. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Because we, we, we respect each other regardless of beliefs that we may have we may differ yes. but in a way we are together in this as youths yes yes when you talk about equity what do you mean exactly equity equity simply means uh, fairness mm. a fair way of sharing either resources a fair way of working together mm -hmm. a fair way of taking action a fair way of making decisions but mm -hmm. this is a, a, a value that requires that um, you look at the circumstances that someone is in mm. you look at the environment within which someone is operating mm -hmm. then you act accordingly mm -hmm. you if it is a question of sharing resources mm. you are able to let someone have resources according to their need and mm -hmm. therefore, for the youth, it's a question of understanding that the value of equity mm -hmm. requires that they are fair in whichever circumstances they are in. Mm -hmm. You face common challenges, but the level at which uh, one person is, is not the same as the other person. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you tend to be fair to the mm -hmm. other side to ensure that there is at least something that is happening at both levels that will bring you finally to a level where it is acceptable now for, for both for for, for 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 this kenyan youth who is uh, watching you this morning and uh, we are talking about equity um how should they understand it how can they promote equity from the level that is the home level before they go even to the society and from the society that I mean, and the community where they are and I, even as they go towards getting into positions of leadership yes if i may take it from a family perspective mm. it's just a question of uh, accepting that uh, even themselves at a family level mm. there are those variations so in order to address those variations at the family level uh, there is need to be fair in mm -hmm. terms of uh, what they get uh -huh. at a family level. Mm -hmm. When we come to the community, the same uh, principle also applies. Mm -hmm. It applies that you must look at the needs of people first, and then try to work towards uh, at least addressing those needs. Can there be equity in leadership? Yes, there is <laughs> equity in leadership in terms of uh. ensuring that Decisions that you make uh. should be able to bring that uh, spirit of fairness okay. in whatever decisions that are made at the level of 
leadership. Some youths always um, have this feeling that, uh, you know, uh, there is no equity in leadership. And uh, that's why they are going to vie for some particular position. They, they, they feel like there is that, that fairness that you're talking about <laughs> isn't there. You know, how, how can we promote it then in leadership? Well, leadership is about competition, but uh, the fairness will come in whereby we, we as the electorate, the youths as the electorate, mm -hmm. will be able to judge and say someone is going to be fair to them in this area, in this aspect. Someone is going to make decisions that will affect them mm -hmm. in terms of uh, fairness, in, either in, in distribution of resources, in the way things will be done in the way decisions will be made. Therefore, it is at that level mm. whereby we'll determine how to elect a leader mm -hmm. that we can see he will be fair to us. Some, some used normally say this, that leadership is not uh, given. Is it taken? I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 yes. Do, do, do you subscribe to that? <laughs> no, that, I, that much I, uh. I think I feel. Mm. Uh, leadership is acquired through a fair process. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Through equity. That's a democracy. That's a de de democracy. Yes. So let's not uh, uh, vouch for leadership being taken. No, that goes against the values that we are championing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's quite, I, I want us to, to finish this conversation to r r wrap it up huh? but uh, as, as, as you wonder because there, there are so many values that we've not yet touched on yes. uh, we shall find another day to yet touch on more of these values but for the ones that we've covered so far we've talked about patriotism, national unity we've talked about sharing and devotion of power the rule of law, democracy, participation of the people human rights and uh, equity uh, for 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 us to get towards the right path as the Kenyan youth, and I'm looking at the as the, the perspective of leadership yet again, that uh, youth want to be able to be given some positions to feel like they are represented, that they want to be to feel represented even as they vote. They want to feel represented even as they get into, uh, uh, you know, uh, next year's uh, electioneering period. They want to feel represented in terms of employment. Some lack jobs. Some uh, are struggling, you know, from, from the ground. And we are talking about national unity, national values here. Yet, when I say my national values, I say my pesa. You know, how can the youth who is watching you out, outside here, be able to grasp all these concepts, yet at the end of the day, still understand that it is for my own good. It is for my own development, and not only for myself, but also the development of the society, regardless of the challenges you are facing, considering the economic times. Yes. First, let me say that the youth should not sit back and wait to be given positions, but they need to come together as youths, caucus. They have several channels through which youths interact, especially uh, currently, nowadays. And they, you, they need to understand one thing, that the foundation of a nation in advancement, it is based on its innovation mm -hmm. it's founded on its national values yeah therefore once we have our youth embracing uh innovation embracing uh, talent nurturing mm. and uh, entrepreneurship and therefore basing it on a national value system mm -hmm. the youths can be able to uh, resolve some of the challenges that we are facing. Mm -hmm. They can be able to engage themselves in active uh, uh, lifestyles that can be able to transform their lives in a big way. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to wait until they are given. They mm -hmm. don't have to wait for handouts. They don't have to wait for someone to give them something in order to influence them, mm -hmm. but they have the right and the power within themselves to come together, engage positively, engage each other and caucus and make sure that they are advancing the, 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 the rights and the 
the rights of the youths and they are able to change their state mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the current state where we are talking about youths are being influenced negatively and they will be move forward you know um it, it's it's quite interesting where that, that, that you, you you're talking about that because it was it was just last week that we had so many news talking about uh, getting into some odd uh, forms of businesses which don't promote national values this is he, uh, last week we had posed a question to our viewers there about the wash wash business, whether youths can, uh, and so many youths are saying they wanted to do it. It was quite interesting on our social media page. So many youths were saying that, yeah, they want to get into that particular business. It doesn't promote national values. It doesn't promote uh, all these things that we're talking about here. Yes, that is because for a time we agree that our value systems have been eroded. Mm. Both the general values, family values, up to national uh, level, where we are talking about our national values, mm -hmm. we have faced the challenges. As a society, we have uh, seen uh, our society go through a transition. Yeah. We are also transforming. We are also being influenced by external factors. And therefore, as a result, we have lost our uh, value systems mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but at the same time that's why we are saying we are reclaiming the same because yes. of those uh, low levels of value systems in us that's why you find our youths are saying there are shortcuts but mm. what we are saying if we embrace uh, a national value system and we make it our way of life mm. then we don't have to approve some of those uh, activities and actions wow. we will find ourselves uh, coming back on track and being proud of ourselves, who we are, our country, and of course we'll be doing things that advance life in a positive way mm -hmm. rather than encouraging some of those uh, things that we are talking about. Mm. The, the shortcuts. Yes, the shortcuts. <laughs> the shortcuts. Yes. Uh, but people love short, shortcuts. Yes. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> uh, Peter Mose, thank you so much for finding time to come, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I was with Peter uh, Mose. He is the deputy director from the Director of National Cohesion and Values. As always, it's a pleasure. We've not touched on all of them. We still have more. Remember, there are 17 values. Yes. 17. We're talking about youths and 17 values. They We've only touched on around eight of them. Eight. Yeah, eight. Yes. We'll finish on them at a later date. God willing, we'll find time to have this conversation again. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Yes. Keep the hashtag going. The hashtag is Y in the morning at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel on Twitter. I'm sampling just a few of your feedback as we con uh, uh, as we wrap this conversation up on our social media handle. Remember, at Ram Maguko is my handle where you can find me. Keep tweeting and keep texting. Remember, it's all about understanding national values uh, uh, right here on Why in the Morning. Now, to sample a few of your feedback I'm seeing here, this is uh, a Stanley, and I'm watching you from uh, 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 Othiru. Othiru, yes, thank you so much, Stanley. I'm seeing here, uh, national values is very important. Watching you together with my family here in Rongai. Thank you so much. Um, ensure that you'll also tell us where you're watching us from. Quite interesting uh, it is. I'm seeing here Dan and Asema enjoying the show. Love the conversation. Keep it up, guys. All right. I'm seeing this is Philip. Philip and Asema, thank you for uh, bringing this guest. It's uh, very important that youths promote national values. Shortcuts are not good. All right. I'm seeing Joy. Joy and Asema uh, enjoying the show. Watching you from uh, um, this is a country that that particular name there, uh, Shida Matamushi. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm seeing here. This is uh, uh, all right. Let me re pass that. All right. This is uh, Wilfred and Asema enjoying the conversation. Watching you from Kino. Asante sana Wilfred. This is Agnes. Agnes also watching us. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. Keep tweeting and keep texting. Meanwhile, let's uh, take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. That, but that brings us to the end of this particular, particular conversation on understanding national values. Are you aware that they are in the Constitution? Head over to the Constitution and get to read more about that. My name is Ram Maguko. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. We still have more for you on Wine in the Morning. This is Y254. Keep it here.